Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here a big welcome. Today you get a rare sight, the sight of my face with absolutely zero makeup product even corrector on. I usually like to have a corrector on and yes I do wear glasses sometimes. I need to wear glasses when I've been staring at a screen for too long and my head is absolutely hurting like no tomorrow. Today I thought I would do a facial hair removal video um, and I am going to turn the brightness down a little bit because it is very very bright and I am totally aware of that and you will see my face in its full glory. Right now the lighting is doing a great job at making me look like I have got even perfect flawless skin and that's just not the case. Like if we turn to the side you will see scarring on both sides of my cheek where I tend to get um, acne flare-ups. I like pretty much every single brown girl out there get excessive hair on my face that you can see um, and for me the main thing is this moustache area here that was the main bane of my life and now I just have a simple solution to it but um, back in the day I learned how to thread by myself using YouTube tutorials and I would thread the hair off and then I had one of those spring tools which you just take both sides go like that and then you twist it and it, it kind of works as like an epilator where it pulls the hair up but I just decided like I don't want to have to go through pain to do it <laughs> so I shaved my face like lots and lots of other people and I know it was like a huge thing on YouTube I think Carly Bible was the first person who made a video about it and then so many people started doing it and I probably started around that time too and I haven't looked back because it does work really well but I use two different types of tools and both of them are fairly affordable. One of them I do replace quite often, the other one I haven't replaced yet because it's just working fine and I sanitise it. So the first thing that I use is one of these. This is like a razor you get in a three pack. It's really good because it's a safety razor, you can just tuck it away, fold it away and it will not end up cutting you and it will also keep the blade clean and it will keep the blade rust free as well. I'll leave the link below to where I got this. And then the second tool I use is this and this I got from Amazon. I saw this on Anushka's channel. She did like a whole video about it and she was testing it out and it looked so simple and easy to use and so I thought let me try it and I honestly I have not looked back since I've got this. It's so so simple. It's got a little lid like so. It's very small more very portable. That is basically a spinning blade. You can definitely cut yourself on this. I've cut my lip on this before so I will show you how I use it now to avoid that but generally it's much more safer than using a sharp sharp razor on your face. It just takes one battery, it's an AA battery. I use the rechargeable ones and you just pop that in there and then to turn it on literally you just go like this. And the cool thing is it has a little light as well, just like my little epilator that I use. I don't know if you can see that because it's so bright. But it has a little light to help you to check the hair out properly. I tend to use this one on my upper lip mostly. Because it's a smaller area, I find that it just works really well. And then I will use like a straight razor like this for the sides of my face, especially like my sideburns. So over here and just sort of all the way down here, down all this area of my face. There's two reasons why I do it. I mean, I could have just left this hair alone because at the end of the day, it's just like baby hair, it's just peach fuzzy hair. Um, but I do find that when I do this routine, it kind of almost exfoliates my face. It gets rid of darkness. I'm not wearing makeup, it doesn't look like I've got an extra layer of just darkness growing on my face. The other thing is it makes anything I do on top so much smoother. Whether that's makeup or whether that's skincare, it's basically removing that extra layer so it makes it much easier. It's a decision where if you do take it, you kind of do have to maintain it. Not because your hair will grow back way, way, way thicker, that's not the case. But I will say that I do find that you can definitely feel the hair a bit more. It doesn't necessarily grow back thicker, but because you've cut the hair, you're not, remember, you're not removing the hair from the root, you've cut the hair, you will be able to feel it coming through. So 
that's definitely something to keep in mind for me anyway it's not been the case that it feels like a you know like a man's face when they've just shaved it doesn't feel like that for me but i know for some people it does so it is a bit of a risk and you probably have done some experimenting of your own you probably have some rough idea of if that's going to be the case for you or not but if you haven't i would suggest maybe getting one of these and then doing a little patch chest somewhere like a very small every face and seeing if you notice a difference or not it just depends on genetics jeans etc etc but anyway without further ado i'm gonna now lower the brightness <laughs> and we are gonna get into removing this hair and i'm gonna be using this mirror by the way which i got from tk maxx uh, a couple of months ago and basically it's got a five times zoom so i'll be able to get right into my face and see exactly what i'm working with okay it's really annoying because i don't have a zoom lens um apart from the kit lens but i don't really use it anymore this is the best i can do but hopefully you guys can still see most of the hair i'm not sure how much is coming up the way i avoid being cut is i try to stretch my skin as much as possible um or because i'm holding the mirror i'm just gonna put my tongue where i'm shaving so like that and that will stretch my skin for me meaning that hopefully i will avoid being cut okay so i've just done one half of my upper lip. I eventually I would love to do laser hair removal on specific areas of my body where I just don't want to have to worry about hair growth but right now I mean laser is not only a financial investment but it's also a time investment. You have to kind of give yourself a year and because we're not necessarily going to be in the same place for a year I don't want to commit to laser yet. So yeah this is working well for me but obviously if you have got the type of hair growth where it just comes back within a day then this probably won't be the best for you but this definitely works for me for a good week and a half to two weeks where I can get away with it and then I'm like yeah better get the shaver out <laughs> oh my gosh I just realized I wasn't filming that that's so annoying basically I just finished off the rest of my apple lip I did a little bit of my chin and already I feel like there's been such a difference in my face honestly and I just know that now when I go to do my makeup it's gonna go on much smoother something that's a little bit gross but very very satisfying is cleaning this thing so basically you just twist the lid off and you'll see inside there is a buildup of hair and then in this bit here as well there is hair as well because obviously that's where the hair's gone once you've shaved it off so what I like to do is get a cotton bud and just dip it in some disinfectant and clean the whole thing out and then clean this side as well, let it dry, then put the lid on ready for use for the next time because if you don't clean it you're going to be just spreading bacteria and letting bacteria grow and then that's going to lead to breakouts. I've never experienced breakouts as a result of shaving my face but I will say that it, when I have a very very active breakout so right now on this side of my face you can see I've got like two spots that are kind of active so to speak and then the rest of it's scarring so when i have a lot more than this i won't go in with a shape a razor because i just don't want to aggravate my skin when it's like this it's not too bad so for the size of my face like i said i'm going to use a straight razor <laughs> Now obviously this is way easier to do when I'm not wearing the hijab but for the purpose of this video, what I show you anyway, I'm just going in slow, downwards motions and my razor is like kind of at a diagonal angle because I want to target the hair and not put it too much on my skin. When I take my hijab off I would just go around the sides okay let me put the brightness up now no more scaring anybody okay okay that's more realistic 
So that is basically my facial hair removal routine. I try not to touch my eyebrows because I do believe that we're not supposed to shape our eyebrows, but I'm not perfect. Like I obviously have in the past, I've definitely shaped my eyebrows and sometimes I get really badly tempted and I'll just shape them here and that's, I'm trying not to do that okay <laughs> but the rest of my face is pretty much fine it's just my upper lip area and then just sideburns to sometimes these bits of my cheek and I don't know if you can tell like definitely you can tell on this side that the, my face just looks a bit brighter because I've removed that very fine layer of dark hair which is making my skin look more discolored so I just think there's so many benefits and advantages to this I totally understand why people would prefer to wax or thread, but I personally feel like I have to tolerate enough pain when I'm epilating my body, so I'm not going to do that for my face, I'm just not, I just refuse. <laughs> but if you can tolerate that, if you want to tolerate that, if that's your jam, definitely go for that. If not, if this has been something that's been bugging you, there is no shame in it, just it's your face, it's your choice. Just make sure that you are aware that it is something that you're gonna have to repeatedly do. Unfortunately, it's not one of the things where you just do it once and then that's it. You've got smooth, hairless skin for the rest of your life. That's just not the case. Literally, obviously I've been talking you guys through it, so it's taken longer, but it would literally just take me like five minutes and I'll do it as part of like a Sunday routine when I'm doing my skincare and stuff. And yeah, and then it just makes everything so much easier to apply later on in the week so yeah that's my routine i hope you enjoyed it if you do something similar or different let me know down below and hit thumbs up if you enjoyed this hit i will see you in my next video take care guys bye